few equivalent units of production. The mixing department of Complete Foods has 62,000 units to account for in October. Of the 62,000 units, 38,000 were completed and transferred to the next department. 24,000 units were 20% complete. All of the materials are added at the beginning of the process. Conversion costs are added evenly throughout the mixing process and the company uses the weighted average method. Compute the total equivalent units of production for direct materials and for conversion costs for October. And so um, in our Excel sheet they started out with direct materials and they kind of set it up for us saying completed units, in process units, total equivalent units for direct materials. And so as far as completed units go, there was 38,000 units completed and that's obviously times 100 percent because they've been completed and transferred so it has to be 100 percent complete and so 38,000 times 100 percent is 38,000. Of the in-process units there's 24,000 units and it tells us that they're 20 percent complete but the next sentence says all of the materials are added at the beginning of the process. So it doesn't actually matter what percentage of completion they are, all the materials were already added if they were started at all. And so that means, again, we're going to say times 100%. So 24,000 times 100% is obviously 24,000. And then we can add these together for 62,000. And that makes sense because the total was 62,000 units and both of these are 100% complete. So 62,000 makes sense for direct materials. Then we'll come down to conversion. And so again, completed units, 38,000 times. That's always going to be 100% because if they're completed, all the costs have already been added. And then the in-process units, this is where we need to know they're 20% complete and conversion costs are added evenly throughout the mixing process. So that means we need to multiply that 24,000 times the 20% conversion. And so we have 24,000 times 0.2. We can add these together. And so we have 62,000 equivalent units of production for direct materials, but only 42,800 equivalent units of production for conversion costs.